Experiments are expensive. It's not like her to forget. Why hello again? Come and listen. I've acquired what muggles call. I didn't keep you waiting, did I? Not at all. I was just at the post office. Graham told me to expect a package, but it looks as if she forgot to send it. She didn't send me an owl this week either. Perhaps she's busy with her research. What kind of research is she doing? It varies from week to week, but it's always to do with creatures. Last week she was studying leg knots in plimpies. What was she sending you? Only some feed she's been developing. I was going to give it to Professor Howen for the measles. What did you find out about the dragon you were tracking? I realised that she didn't know the poachers had her egg, so when she left Horntail Hall, she would have headed straight to her nest. I went back to the tent and tracked her flight. How do you track a dragon long after she's gone? Tree canopies, burn marks, things like that. Well done. You certainly know what you're doing. I can't be certain, but I have an idea of one place she may have been heading. I thought we might go and see it for ourselves. Of course. Shall we leave now? If that's all right, I want to see how she's faring if she had a collar on. And she's likely frantic about her egg. Here we are. I do think this is where we'll find her. The terrain's typical of where the breed would nest. I suspect it's how the poachers found her to begin with. They likely camped here and logged her patterns. Perhaps nabbed her first and then her egg. Dragons are hard enough to wrangle, let alone maternal ones. You got all of that from simply standing here? You'd be surprised how easy it is to think like a poacher. Shall we see if she's home? We only need to return her egg. That sounds straightforward enough. We should be in and out. Then we can be finished with the poachers once and for all. If you're right about finding her here, how do we go about returning the egg? Her nest will likely be in the heart of her den, which she will be keeping guard over. It might also be more charred than anywhere else, I imagine. Well then. Let's find our dragon and return her egg. Wonderful. If she sees us flying about, she might take it as a sign of aggression or food. We should stay on foot. Oh, and one more thing. Let's not agitate her. Goodness knows she's been through enough already. I'm ready. Rebellion. Above us, she did make it home safely. Oh good, it looks as if she wasn't collared like the other dragons. She doesn't seem to have spotted us yet. Let's hope it stays that way. At least until we've done what we came to do. Rebellion!
How charming. They keep in touch with each other. Yeah. I wonder how many they brought to capture. At least ten, usually. There she is again. She's breathtaking. From a distance. Repair all. Good her eyesight is. Ravelli, I beg your pardon. I don't imagine the poachers fed her well, and from a distance, we probably look exactly like sheep to her. Hebrideans love sheep. How lucky for us. Watch your step. Uh. Rebellion. Pity. She must have been starved to pick off a graphorn. Or just raring for a fight. Domain. She'll make sure we know it. Keep at it. We've just got to get into the nest. Oh, she isn't making it easy. Welcome. It's a little too warm, if you ask me. I don't suppose she listened to reason. I normally try, but we're well past. Get to that opening below her. There's the nest. We're almost there. Why is every bridge here broken? Repair her. Now, 
if we just return her egg, we can hopefully make it out without too much fuss. She left us perfectly unharmed. Creatures are a lot cleverer than most people realize. That's what Gran always says. The important thing is that we survived it, and we returned her egg. Thank you for doing this with me. Wouldn't blame you one bit if you wanted to head back to the castle and never think about dragons again. Shall we head back? I'm ready if you are. I am. After our dragon rescue at Hauntel Hall, I half expect to be ambushed by poachers any time I'm not in the castle. Understandable. We did sabotage their fighting ring and steal a dragon egg from them. True. True. So why haven't they come after us? It's not like them to let things lie. Unless... Unless what? Unless they haven't let things lie. Oh no, I can't believe I didn't see it. We need to leave. I need to send an owl. How could I have been so blind? I've always said that travel broadens the mind. So frustrating. You wanted to speak with me, Mother? I had hoped to speak with you alone, Natsai. Your message mentioned your concern about an unusual creature that was spotted in the woods near Hogsmeade. That could have been anything. You know what it was, Natsai. I am allowed to leave the castle. I am always careful, Mother. Careful? Officer Singer disagrees. She sent me an owl telling me that you have been trying to collect evidence of some kind against dark wizards. She berated me for not keeping a closer eye on you. And she is right. I do not want you visiting Hogsmeade for the near future. But Mother! My little gazelle, you are well-intentioned, but you must not meddled in the affairs of dangerous people. If someone had meddled in Matabilaland, Father would still be with us. <sighs> I must get to class. Perhaps your friend can get you to listen to reason. So frustrating. She never listens to me. She called you her little gazelle. Is that a term of endearment where you're from? It is specific to me. I am the unusual creature in Hogsmeade, she mentioned. 
Self-transfiguration is not taught at Hogwarts, so I am gently discouraged from practicing it. However, I am an Anamagus, and it is in my gazelle form that I have been able to wander the highlands rather freely until now, much to my mother's chagrin. That is how I managed to spy on Rookwood and Harlow. How does it feel to transform into an animal? Well, the first time, it can be a bit unnerving. I felt a kind of searing pain and a strong double heartbeat. But it gets easier the more you do it. I no longer feel any pain, and I must say, I find a sense of comfort in the double heartbeat. And I love being able to view the world from a different perspective. Can you choose what form your Animagus will take? Oh no, a person's Animagus form is determined by their personality. My mother is convinced that my form is a gazelle because I adapt well to any situation. I believe it is because I can sense danger and keep my wits about me. Were you born an Animagus or did you learn to become one? Animagi are not born. The process is quite elaborate. It involves holding a mandrake leaf in one's mouth for an entire month, then placing the leaf in a crystal phial so that it is imbued with moonlight, then adding one of your own hairs. And that is just the beginning. Self-transfiguration is common among students at Wagadu, but Professor Weasley considers it much too dangerous to teach at Hogwarts. Now the nickname makes sense. What an extraordinary ability to have. It is. I love transforming, but Mother is less enthusiastic about it. She says that no creature, especially one as rare as a gazelle, should be bounding about where poaching has become so prevalent. <sighs> she claims that she has foreseen tragedy befall me in my gazelle form. But she has used her sight to control me too many times. I no longer believe it. She's concerned for your safety. It may be best for you to stay away from Hogsmeade for now. That may be safe, but I do not believe that it would be best. Do you? You could have fled the moment you discovered that Rookwood, Harlow, and Randrock were after you, but you did not. I choose to act as you have. I must deal with Rookwood and Harlow, not hide from them. <sighs> My mother cannot know where I am all the time. Thank you for being here during that rather awkward conversation. <sighs> What do we have here? A demigod. Mine now, demigod. <laughs> Professor, do you have a moment? I do. I was wondering how you decided to teach divination. Ah, the art of divination is an important yet often misunderstood branch of magic. Those of us who possess the sight are rare. And, as is often the case with the unique among us, we can frequently be misread, even feared. When I was granted the opportunity to teach others about my gift and the good it can do, I was most grateful. I see. Natty told me that you and she moved here from Uganda, where she had attended Wagadu. Yes, Natsai and I both loved Uganda and Wagadu, but we are happily settled here now. I had foreseen such a change, but did not know the details until it occurred. I was glad of the outcome. You would be wise to remember that the consequences of our actions are complex. And so, divining what is to come is not as simple as gazing into a crystal ball or studying the bottom of a teacup. 
I find it truly intriguing, even if I don't fully understand it. <laughs> intriguing. That is one word for it. And I'm certain you will come to understand many things more deeply in the days ahead. You are a student at Hogwarts, after all. It cannot have escaped you that we in the Wizarding world are forever navigating the seemingly inexplicable. Of course, Professor. Now, I know that we both have places to be. Not because I have the sight, mind you, but because I am a professor and you are a student. I have enjoyed our conversation. Off on another adventure, are we? Rebellion. I wonder who lives here. What needs doing, needs doing. Might you have time to help with an urgent delivery? Could it be a Merlin trial? Rebellion. be terribly grateful if you could help me and my friend with a time-sensitive delivery. Rebellion. Mine now, Demi guys. <gasps> Alohomora.
Alohomora. Sure, how I'd fare in a little place like this. Revelio. Rebellion. Oh, here's a pleasant surprise. Lumos.
face right out of his... Revelio. Be strong, Alexandra. Uh. Is everything all right? If the Hamlet sent you here to talk to me about... about... I know what I have to do. It's not every day a girl has to put down her own troll. I should be allowed to work up to it. What do you mean, your own troll? I thought that's why you were here. I'm sorry. I suppose if you spend enough time with trolls, you forget your manners. I'm Alexandra. I didn't mean to be short with you. With Ranrock's lot seemingly everywhere, I thought the Hamlet could use a bit more security. <sighs> but my plan has gone awry. I apologised when he almost trampled half the Hamlet yesterday. <sighs> he just needs more time. But everyone wants him gone. They think it's mad, my training a troll. Impossible, even. It certainly takes a lot of courage to try, I'll give you that. Thank you. Thank you for saying that. I wish others felt the same. But I suppose I understand why everyone's been so concerned. <sighs> what made me think I could train him? I should have learned from Barnabas the Barmy. But he's my troll and my problem. I'll be honest. I'm afraid I won't be able to take care of him. He's stronger than any troll I've ever encountered. <sighs> I wish I knew someone else who could do it. What exactly were you training the troll to do? I was hoping to train him to serve as protection for us. Frankly, I struggled to teach him even a word or two. Couldn't give him even a semblance of self-control. I'm not thrilled at the prospect, but I'll consider it. Oh no, I didn't mean to suggest that you should do it. In fact, you should avoid the area just southwest of here. At least until I work up the courage to do what needs to be done. A troll on the loose near a hamlet. That could be devastating. I take it you're Alexandra's friend. Incendio. 
bombarda. Bombarda. I feel awful for Alexandra, but the Hamlet needed to be saved from that troll. Seems a pleasant enough little place. It's done, Alexandra. I took care of him. My troll? What? Oh, I don't know what to say. Thank you. I wish things could have turned out differently for him. There wasn't much you could have done. He was beyond training. Tried to kill me the entire time. Goodness. I'm glad you're all right. You're very brave. People in the Hamlet had already crafted a moniker for whoever eventually defeated my... I mean, that troll. It was troll something or other. Slayer? Yes, that was it. I suppose it's your title now. I need some time on my own, but truly, thank you for what you did. The Troll Slayer has a nice ring to it. Hello, might you have time to help with an urgent delivery? You sound as if you could use some help. How fortunate to see you. The, um, what was it? Troll, slayer or vanquisher? Whisperer? No matter. You clearly know how to get things done. Eddie Thistlewood's the name. Listen, a friend of mine in Feldcroft needs help fighting Rangrock's loyalists. I sent two crates of Chinese chomping cabbages to help, but they've gone missing. Good idea. Those cabbages are nothing to be trifled with. My thoughts, precisely. You see, I know plants, and I believe the goblins will be so irritated by the onslaught of ferocious vegetation, they'll simply leave Feldcroft alone. I wonder if you might track the two crates down and deliver their contents to my friend Bernard Indiai. I simply can't leave my shop at present. Very well, sir. I shall keep an eye out for two crates of Chinese chomping cabbages. Oh, thank you. I shall let Bernard know he might be receiving those cabbages after all. What do you have for sale? I'm convinced that Feldcroft will be much safer with Chinese chomping cabbages defending them. Abby Sounds like Feldcroft's in trouble. Perhaps I should try to help. Thank you. I hope to see you again soon. Not sure how I'd fare in a little place like this.
Alohomora. I now, Demi guys. Rebellion. Alohomora. Rebellion. Creative Chinese chomping cabbages is somewhere in this camp. It's shameful what you've done to helpless beasts. Rebellion. That's one crate in hand. I only need one more. Alohomora. Wingardium Leviosa. Rebellion. I know what that means. Merlin trial. Repairer. Rebellion. Repair it. This man and Charles won't get the best of me. Get that Incentive. helmet back. Hopefully from your thoughts. Can 
Alohomora. Rebellion. Rebellion. I know a Merlin trial when I see one. I can see why Feldcroft needs help. Ranrock's loyalists are hiding out near Feldcroft. They must have the other crate of trying to join cabbages. Much too slow. Student of stuffness and Feldcroft. Bobada. Akio. That's all the crates of Chinese chomping cabbages. Better go and see Mr. Thistlewood's friend in Feldcroft. Right out of the store. Hello there. Do you have a special delivery for my dear friend, Eddie? Hello, Mr. Ndi. Eddie Thistlewood sent me. Yes, he told me to expect you. Do you have the Chinese chomping cabbages? I have them right here. Marvellous. This will go a long way towards protecting the hamlet from Ranrock's loyalists. The same foul curs who, I'm willing to guess, intercepted them in the first place along with Rookwood's lot. Feldcroft owes a debt of gratitude to you and Eddie. Thank you for your help. You're welcome. Happy to be of assistance. At last, some reinforcements. 
Hopefully this is enough to thwart the goblins. Rebellion.